Alright, so the project we're going to make here is the Pac-Man keyring made out of brass. I have a piece of brass here already. Um, so we're going to make it out as 3mm thick. Turns out it's a nice project in the end when it's polished up and everything. Um, I've blued one side to make it easier, hopefully, that the lines will appear better on the camera. Um, I'll have a link in the description to this drawing. Right, so we get started. The piece I've cut out of brass is 50 square. Okay, so we want to find the centre of this, and the handiest way to find the centre of any rectangle or square is just to exit. So, scribing a line from corner to corner, and the centre is where those two lines cross. So, using a punch and a hammer, I'm going to make a little dent in the piece of metal. This is because a scriber, a pointy surface, will slide around on brass if it's not if it doesn't have somewhere to sit. So we're going to put 20 millimeters between the points because of our radius, the circle. So starting at 10, I need to go to 30 millimeters. And I find that if you want to mark something, the handiest way to do it is to turn the piece of metal, if you can, as you scribe. So we have our circle there, and hopefully that should be pretty obvious. Now the eye from the drawing, the eye is 15 millimetres away from the centre along one of the diagonals. So I'm just going to measure 15 millimetres. And again, it doesn't matter where you start on the ruler. So I have 70 lined up with the centre here. I'm going to measure 15 millimetres across and put a little mark there. So we now have a mark. Sorry. We have a mark 15 millimetres from the centre. We're going to punch that as well because we're going to be drilling there in a minute. So we have two punch marks now. So the next stage is to drill this hole and then cut it out. Okay, so our drawing tells us here that we have a 4mm hole to be drilled through the eye. So I've put a 4mm drill bit in here already and I'm putting my piece into the vise on the little edges. Make sure that's good and firm and tight. Bring down the drill bit before we even start and line this up. So I've it lined up by eye now. And just in contact I turn the chuck back a couple of times. And take your time to do this correctly. There we go. So turning on the speed. It's quite loud. Drill brass gently. It can be quite hard. And at the very end, if you're not careful, you can grab the piece of metal and pull it up. So take your time and go through. So to hacksaw, we're going to hacksaw off the corners first of all, and once I get started on this, I will probably speed up the video. So I want to always hacksaw in a vertical direction, so straight down, so I'm going to put the piece into my vise in such a way that where I'm hacksawing is going to be straight down. Now because this, slope, this is sloped here, hacksaw will slide a bit, so I'm going to find a little groove at the top of where I want to hacksaw. Then at least I have somewhere to sit my hacksaw as I start. And then you just keep going around to all four corners. So the mouth of the, this is going to be the mouth of the Pac-Man, so I'm going to hacksaw a straight line down here, but not all the way to the line, and then in this way. And because this is going to be a flat surface, 
I don't need to use a file at the top. So that's one line hacksawed there, one edge. Notice I haven't gone near the line, I'm going to do the other one. cut out and I'm going to do a little bit more hacksawing around here because the more I can hacksaw off the less I have to file. And who wants to file loads? Okay, that's. I could go a bit further with the hacksaw, but I'm quite happy with that. So the next stage now is filing. I did mention. I did mean to mention. These are just soft jaws. They stop the serrated jaws of the vice, damaging the workpiece and putting marks on it. Right, continuing on with filing now. So we're going to file the corners down, practically to the line, then move on to each corner in turn. Again, this will be speeded up. So I'll try and keep your workpiece close to the vise, especially with thin material, although brass won't be much of a problem. I'm going to use a rough file for this, because we want to take off quite a bit of material quite quickly. I had a teeth on a file all face forward, okay, so there's no point in filing the back stroke. That's the curve pretty much done, so I'm just going to do these two sections in here now. now flat files have a safe edge, which has no teeth on it at all, as opposed to the other side. This edge is good when you want to put it up against the side that you've already filed. Okay, so that's the rough filing over and done with. You can see I'm very close to the line all the way around and we've got quite rough edges all the way. So it's now onto the smooth file, okay, which we will now use to bring that right down to the line and put a smooth, much smoother surface on the top. And it's the same process again, working your way around. 
and keeping a close eye on where you are. So I like the look of that now at this stage, looks pretty good. So just to round off these edges, you can see they're much improved here, but we're going to go with a slightly different style, instead of going across, we're going to go around the curve. So I'm going to put it up high in the vise this time, and coming from the side, I'm filing like this, nice and gently, and just trying to blend the different areas together. Okay, so at this stage it should be pretty uniformly curved. There might be the slight little high points, but at this stage you've got very few file marks and it's time for emery paper. So I'm going to use rough emery paper first. Alright, so with the rough emery paper I want to take off the paint, the marking fluid, and take off the dull surface here and get rid of any marks from filing on these surfaces. So one way to do it nice and handy. I'm quite happy with that now. See if the camera focuses on that. 
do a pretty smooth surface the whole way around. So I'm going to go off and polish this now. I won't be doing that on camera, but I will show you the end result shortly. Okay, so here we go. Finished off the polishing. The fingerprints are what are coming up on it mostly now at this stage. Fine polish. So there we go. You can see there's a lovely shine on that. It's not absolutely perfect, but it'll do. Nice shine on the edge, nice and smooth. Feels like glass. So there we go. Pac-Man. Keyring made of brass. Bye.